Hello, hello, hello. It's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be doing part two of how to stamp for beginners. So if you're interested in seeing this video, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, thank you so, so, so much for tuning into my channel today. If you are new here, then I'd like to welcome you. My name is Brandy Janae. And if you are returning, thank you so much for checking out my channel once again. I truly, truly appreciate all of the love and support. We are still on the journey to 1K, so I would very much so love it if you have not already subscribed, that you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you have already subscribed, to please share this video so that we can get to 1K before the end of the year. So in the last video I did using my A5 Archer and Olive Traveler's Notebook, or no, I'm sorry, bullet journal. Um, I did the stamping with this Memento ink in the Tuxedo Black. And in this particular, um, this was with the acrylic stamps. So if you have not seen that video, I will be sure to link it in the cards above. Um, go ahead and go and check that out. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some wood block stamp. These are clear. I don't remember if I said that or not. These are clear stamps. I'll be doing some wood block stamps today using these. Um, this set from Stampin' Up! called Cake Soiree. Just like with the other ones, I really don't know if this is available or not still. Um, but they have lots of different wood you know, block stamps that you can choose from. And then I also purchased these alphabet and numbers and symbol stamps from Amazon. So I will be um, stamping with these as well, just because there's something that I wanna show you. Um, and then for the ink, this time I decided to use this classic stamping pad from Stampin' Up! And the color is Tranquil Tide. So um, first thing, is I'm going to use this stamp um, and it's just a regular floral stamp and just like with the acrylic stamps I like to take the stamp pad I'm sorry if you guys can hear all this noise I'm not sure what's going on with the cards outside but I'm hearing like a lot of car sounds so I apologize for that anywho you take this stamp and then you want to tap the um, stamp with the ink and again, I like to check around the edges just to make sure that I don't have any excess ink on there just because I don't want that to accidentally get on my paper. Then of course you choose your spot and you stamp it down. Now the challenging thing about wood stamps is you obviously can't see through it. So you have to work on being a little bit more precise with your placement, but I think consistently you get a more even stamp with wood than you do with the clear. Um, I don't know why. That's just my opinion. Um, and another cool thing is if you take the stamp and then you stamp it again, and then you stamp it again, you almost get this like ombre effect. So every time you stamp it, it gets a little bit lighter until eventually it's so light that you can't hardly see it again. So again, we're going to take this, tap the front or the top rather, check the edges. They look good stamp stamp and try to keep it as steady as you can because as you can see in some spots i wiggled a little bit um and so the edges on the top got a little messed up and that's also because my book is not as evenly high on this side as it is on this side so um but anyway there is that. So if you wanted to do some stamping layers, I always recommend stamping, um, you know, your, your base color first. So that would be like this one, you know, you'd want to stamp this one first. And then theoretically, you'd have another color that you can put on top of this color so you can get the whole like layered look. Um, and then of course, you know, now that I'm done with these, I'm going to take one of my trusty baby wipes, wipe my finger off a little bit first, and then I can go ahead and just wipe these off. 
and the joys of the wood stamp is you get to see all of the inks you've ever used <laughs> because it does kind of stain the wood a little bit on the blocks but that's okay a colorful stamp is a happy stamp so that just means that you've used it more than once which is awesome don't be like me and just hoard them all right and then this is the one that i wanted to show you guys because this is um the one that like in the bullet journal community i've seen a lot um where they use the letters or the numbers or whatever and um you know these are a little bit more finicky because they have um they're not as deeply cut as like this one so if i lightly tap this one you and then check it there's no i don't see any ink around the edges and so when i stamp it you get a beautiful number one. Now, this time, I'm not going to be so light with my inking, and I'm not going to check my edges, which is going to stress me out, but you know, it's for video purposes only. Then when I stamp it, ugh, you get the line around the edge, and that drives me insane. So again, if I take this, stamp and I literally just stamp down which is what most people do um, you know just stamp down on here then you continue to get more of a box you know and depending on how hard you push determines how much more of this box you have so I mean unless you're making like uno cards I would suggest um, you know tilting it this way wiping off the edge and again, you can use your finger, you can use a baby wipe, you can use tissue, whatever, whatever tickles your fancy. And then, oh, I must have wiped it off, sorry. And then stamping it so that you get a number and not the box around it. So anyway, that is it for that. Um, let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite type of stamp? Are you a wood stamp person or do you like the clear stamps more? Um, and then if so, what type of ink do you prefer to use? It looks like in this book, you really need to use like a water-based ink. Um, because I know when I was using the Memento, um, there was a lot of, um, ghosting and even some, um, you know, see-through on the other side. Like it bled through a little bit. Whereas on this one with the Stampin' Up! ink, there's no ghosting or bleeding. So, um, it looks like because this is a water-based ink that it works better in this particular book, just like all the other water-based products. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, again, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment below letting me know if you are team wood or team clear for your stamps. And if you have not done so, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.